but coming together as a team is something they only do for this event. So it really does span a wide range of geographies and schools and styles of cheerleading on this team. Okay, you're seeing that the level of difficulty in these skills has increased. But they do it so sharply, they perform with such precision that still the emphasis is on the signs and what they're yelling. That's exactly what you want to do here in the cheer. of the stage that says a lot about the cheering as well, bringing the audience in yeah, great using energy. that front, point, uh, front part of the stage. As they regroup for their next portion. Now, these girls are going to do some incredibly difficult skills. And this a routine that is jam-packed, mm -hmm. we're going to see a lot of skills too. So the pace is going to be faster, um, and we're going to see a higher quantity of skills when count. Every count has something. Every count has something. They're really proud of the flow of this routine. Standing fulls, those are very difficult. Back handspring full up, they pull that stretch immediately. Wow. And they rewind with their body still holding the stretch position. That is just incredibly difficult. Back handspring, back handspring full. <laughs> Okay, these are called Diamadas. Very difficult. Everybody hit. Everybody hit. Nice job, ladies. Oh, oh we had a fall on the left. Get it back. They missed that one on the left. She tried to, to get back into it as quick as she could. Great height on those baskets. Wow, backhand spring double up. <laughs> Dump, double up one one one. I mean, that's something you rarely see on co-ed teams. Using the whole floor, now a chance to tumble. Looking for synchronicity here. Yeah, we saw some bent legs on some of those tumbling passes. Wow. That can bring up to 111. Wow. wow. Nice job in the middle. Landing. That's a completely blind landing. You can't see where you're going to put your feet. That was a 